Hey there, how's it going everyone? It is a stock market options buying update. All right, we're gonna talk Tesla options. We're gonna talk how to understand stock options and I'm gonna give a little tutorial about how to purchase stock options because we are here with Katrina and she is investing in stock options this week. And we're gonna talk about what you would do with $500 in the stock market right now if you wanna buy options. There's a lot of ways to make amazing returns in the market buying options. I'm going to go through all the things that you can do and, and really analyze different companies and, and give some advice about how to do this. So you ready, Katrina? Yeah. Heck yeah. All right, let's talk about the option that I spent my $500 on back on March 3rd. Let's go through all the different information about this option that I bought so we mm -hmm. can really understand it. Mm -hmm. Back on March 3rd, I spent this amount of money, this cost right here. 495 bucks, and I purchased something. I didn't purchase a stock, I purchased an option. An option is, is a, an agreement or the right to buy shares. It is described in this description right here. It starts with the stock, which was Tesla. Tesla matters, TSLA. This is, the next thing is the date. The date here is June 18th. That is gonna be the expiration date of the option. What happens on the options expiration date, Katrina? Um, you, that, huh? Oh, the, uh, so that price right there, I forget what that price, what do you call it? Well, what, what about the date of June oh, 18th? On June 18th, it something, it expires, right. At June 18th, you have to do something with this option or not own it anymore because it doesn't mean anything on June 19th. It's really over at that point. And what is it that we're talking about that's over? What is going on? Well, that's related to the next number, which is 1450 which is a strike price, that's what it's called. And then there's a word call or put that's gonna be on the end of this. A call means that you want the stock price to be over this strike price. A put means you're gonna want your stock price over here to be less than the stock price. That's what you're rooting for if you do calls or puts. We're gonna only talk about calls because in this market, in 2021, what's going on right now, you wanna be buying calls and good stocks. There's a lot of money in the system. We're experiencing a type of inflation that has been led from the Federal Reserve that's adding a lot of money into this system and so stock prices are gonna go up so you wanna be buying calls on stocks. So we're gonna talk a lot about calls. So this is saying here that we think the Tesla stock is gonna get over $1,450 a share by this date of June 18th, which is pretty soon. It's actually 61 days away. Well, how are we doing on this option? Um, we're <laughs> a little, is that a little over? No, it's, no. it's a little bit over. No, how much is this option worth right now? Uh, well, I thought it was supposed to look at the current share price. Mm. Um, well, yeah, the current share price is $739, but that actually isn't exactly related to the option price. There's a lot of things that are going to go in to the market value. Mm which is how much oh, okay, this, the option is worth right now. Meaning on Monday morning, when you might be watching this video or Monday the 19th, if I want to sell my option right at the open, if I sold it for $175 or put a, a uh, I would try to sell my option on the market. I could say 1.75, which would mean $175 is what I want to sell it for. It'll probably sell tomorrow morning at that amount mm -hmm. at some point pretty easily. Mm -hmm. um, that's what it says it's worth, unless Tesla drops a ton right off the open or something like that. Then it, then it w might not sell. But that's what I could get for it. Well, I pay, how much I pay for it? For almost 500 bucks. Almost 500 bucks. So that's me down $320 right now and down 64%. So if you're investing for somebody else, they are scared right now. They're sweating bullets because mm -hmm. they're down a lot of money, right? Now, I'm not concerned. Am I a crazy person? Maybe. Yes. <laughs> Here's why I'm not concerned. I'm not concerned because of what I said previously about there being a lot of money in the system and money tends to flow fast, especially into this stock. But here's what's going on with Tesla. Tesla has, if you look at what Tesla's done over the last 90 days right here, this is Tesla. They've been down, they've been coming back up, they look like they've been recovering. Um, they were up around almost like 900 a share a couple months ago. They're announcing their earnings this week. Uh, ne sorry, next week, uh, like 10 days from now. Not, not this upcoming week, but like I think the Tuesday of the following week. Now, they already had a lot more deliveries in 
the first quarter of January, February, March than people were expecting. They, they beat it by, I think, like ten or 15,000 deliveries. Their, their financials are probably going to be good. They also made a lot of money in Bitcoin because Elon Musk is super smart, took a bunch of money, he put it in Bitcoin, he made a ton of money. Mm -hmm. So that's also helping Tesla. Their financials are probably going to be pretty good. There's going to be a run-up to that, and people are going to want to buy their stock because this stock goes nuts when it goes nuts and it goes well. So I would expect there's going to be a, a jump in Tesla over the next couple of weeks as there's all this energy around them releasing their earnings. Makes them a good buy to even buy an option now. I would say you might even want to buy an option on Tesla tomorrow because they're probably going to be up over 800 by next week. Mm -hmm. And no matter what option you buy, you're probably going to be out of money next week. So we may do that tomorrow. That's one of the best things to do. Uh, I have a whole list of companies that I keep track of and what their prices are and, and notes about them so that we can review them for this very purpose and say, well, what's a good thing to buy, right? I, of course, have Tesla up here right at the top of the list. I think if you could ever get them under $800 a share, you should buy them or buy an option on them at a certain strike price. 800 is a good strike price to, to purchase an option for Tesla on, but it's going to cost you like like $18,000, $25,000 or something insane. Um, so you'd have to, I'll explain strike prices in a later video because it's very complex to figure out what price to buy. But just in terms of companies that are good, I'm saying Walmart's a good company. Uh, Chipotle is a good company. Google Alphabet is a great company. That's one I might tell you to take a long call option on because they're only going to increase in value. Sherwin-Williams Paints Company, they tend to have a very good summer uh, and they, they have good profit margins on their products. Uh, they just split too, they, their stock split. There's a lot, of, a lot of these companies are on here that I would consider buying options. Moderna especially. Moderna is another one. I, I'm going to talk about reviewing this company today. And actually that's the one I'm going to focus the rest of the video on because I think I'm actually going to tell you to buy an option in Moderna tomorrow. And here's why. Um, they are at $170 a share right now. They are actually crushing it. They're mRNA, vaccine company, right? Over the last 90 days, they've swayed, they've swayed, they're on the back up. This is not a great time actually t tomorrow or Monday to pick up an option because they're on this upswing and they're probably going to drop again and, and level off down here and then you'll want to buy them. So maybe that's why I put the price at about 150 where I said... Moderna right here, if they get to about 150, you want to buy an option in them. But you could even consider buying one now because they're going to be going up in the long term anyway. And here's why. We all are going to need tailored vaccines when it comes to the variants of COVID and other viruses and diseases that are going through the population. We've kind of made that decision now that society can't run if we're all in fear of contracting viruses, especially um, at-risk populations. And Moderna is like a they are they're molecularly designing vaccines at a level that is in a way that other pharmaceutical companies really aren't doing and their their, their amazing product has worked so far with covid as far as we can tell so they're going to be someone that we're going to have to be continually turning to to get different variant strains uh, you know mapped and then vaccines created for those for next season you know next winter it'll be a different variant of covid that we'll probably all have to get vaccinated for so this is an ongoing thing and you start to see things about well what is the what is the market cap for moderna what how, how, what are their profits what's their earning per share you can start to look at some information that we keep track of and one thing that i like to see is their their market cap is 68 billion dollars right now 68 you know 68,355 million $68 billion. That's a tremendous amount of money. But when you think about how we're, how we're looking at vaccines differently now, I mean, people want a vaccine card just to go somewhere. We were talking about going to visit friends and they're like, if you're not vaccinated, you can't come down here, right? We all have to do this whether or not we want to. So where do you think this company is going to go when we have all these new vaccines that we need to create and, and take and, and, and monitor our population? What is going to happen to them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, absolutely. And more people are going to realize that they're part of our lives in a way we hadn't thought. And, and I really like them because of the special way they designed the vaccines. So this is a great company to invest in, even though they're not as profitable as they should be yet because it's all just getting started. But people always just trade on future expectations anyway. So it's fine. 
they, they will swing up. They'll swing up because they're – unless you hear all of a sudden that the mRNA vaccine doesn't work. But, you know, we both have a background a little bit paying attention to medical field stuff. I love the way the mRNA vaccine works. I don't know, do you have any opinion on that? Do I have any vaccine opinion like i love the oh, mrna yeah. the structure of the way they do it i'm not sure how much you know about this compared to other companies vaccines but i love the way they do this mm -hmm. it's almost like a proprietary way that they structure their vaccines mm -hmm. so it just means they're a special company that tr the stock market's going to treat them in a special way mm -hmm. and i think that's going to be great so that won't be as expensive so another thing we're talking about options here they're only at 170 dollars a share Tesla's at $700 a share. Options are about strike prices. So you could buy an option on Moderna's uh, stock at like $200 a share that will expire a couple months from now. You're, you're basically saying, I think they're gonna go up over $200 a share in the next three months. You, you buy an option like that. That would probably only cost you probably like 500 bucks, probably your 500 bucks actually. We'll go check the options chain tomorrow and we'll see what we can get. But this is a great, great buy. Um, even though I, of course, love my Tesla and I'm holding on to Tesla, they will also ex just continue to go up insane amounts at a time. But um, their stock price is really high, so their options are more expensive. So you have to budget to figure out what you, what you want to buy. Um, anyway, so we'll keep doing these updates. We're going to talk about different stocks every day and exactly what bids and asks are and how to put a price out and what we actually get it at. Uh, briefly, what I can tell you about that is, you know, I could, I could try to sell this option tomorrow for $200, even though it's only worth 174 this Tesla option. And maybe throughout the day, if Tesla went up, this will sell for $200. So you don't always have to put your buy or your sell price at what the current market value is. You have choices. I could try to sell this thing for $500 tomorrow, and it's probably nobody's going to buy it. But if Tesla went up $100, $150 a share tomorrow, maybe throughout the day at some point, somebody would actually buy that because they might see the value. So options fluctuate all the time between 9.30 and 4 p.m. on the East Coast when you can buy them. And we're going to really go through the details of how these companies do and which options to buy and we'll build a portfolio because we are buying a Cybertruck with our stock options winnings this year. I already reserved it this, this weekend. We have a tri-motor tri Cybertruck that has been reserved, so we are going to turn all this money into a Cybertruck. Do you believe it? I believe it. Do you really believe it? Yeah. Really? you got to be honest. You think, you think <laughs> I'm going to turn this $174.50 into $70,000 Cybertruck? Really? Oh, I don't know. Do you believe it? Yes. <laughs> okay. if, if this gets lost, I'll just throw another 500 in and I'll use that 500 to get it. But yeah, I will definitely get there. Okay. And I'll show you how. All right. All right? Great. All right, I'll show you guys too. <laughs> so look, may all your trades be winning and go buy Moderna because the, <laughs> they're like, they're the vaccinating lifeblood, uh, one of the sources, and we're all going to have to be using that service so they're to see them at 170 dollars a share makes me think that um it makes me think that that they're gonna hit you know hundreds of billions of dollars in market cap not just 68 um because there are so many billions of people in the world that's why that are going to need this service okay yeah. what about pfizer pfizer uh I think all these companies that are making vaccines actually have potential upside. I'm looking at more of the best one. And the reason why why uh, Moderna is better than Pfizer, in my opinion, is one, Pfizer's been around longer. It has higher operating costs and more of their cumulative value is already built into their stock. They're not going to fluctuate as much as a stock like this. But most importantly, it is the proprietary way in which Moderna structures their uh, vaccine on the molecular level that is so appealing to me because we need to do vaccine creation in a more scientifically driven manner, even though I, it, the, this is a scientific process to begin with, but instead of just training our immune system through more abstract ways of intaking a vaccine, we actually design a spike that looks exactly like the protein we need with the correct amino acids. It's like building a Lego set at the molecular level to properly bond with what it needs to bond with to give your immune system a predictable response. They do this with 
with their technology. And so their, with their vaccine was one of the first to come out. It was one I was most excited about. I haven't heard terrible things about it. So people aren't dropping dead. It seems to be working, right? I don't hear about people getting vaccinated, getting sick with it. So it all makes sense. And as we all just adjust to this, yeah, Pfizer's a good one too. I'll go through all of these actually. There's a whole table, I didn't even show you guys this, of um, uh, of all the different um, sectors and how they have done. So what you're talking about is, uh, not real estate, not industrials. My favorite one is, um, where is it called? Is it healthcare? Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably <laughs> down there. Yeah, I got biotech. So like, uh, biotech, biotechnology, I need to resort this, but it starts to order them and which company they are and how they did today and what their stock price is. So we can look through all of these. And I, for example, I, I, I know a little bit about Novavax. They do really well and they got some stuff approved and their stock price has been exploding. Also, they were at like $10 a share or $20 a share like last year. It's like, mm-hmm. I, like they're out of, or something crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't quote me on that exactly, but if, let's look at Novavax real quick. And Novavax... And paste. Novavax over the last 90 is probably going to, yeah, look at, look at the swings that they have over the last year. Yeah, look at that. I mean, that's insane. But down here, it's like $10 a share. That's a year ago. So you would have had like, like, what is that, 20 to 1, right? 27 to 1 or something crazy. Um, that's that's good, whatever. So they they spike a lot, but they also they get funding and they, they keep getting stuff approved. So we can go through all these eventually. Um, I have done a cursory run through on everybody, but it's part of the research process. I don't focus on it all the time, but I do focus on certain companies that I definitely watch and care about that I think have an impact on society. So yeah, this this thing here, I'm not selling it yet. Maybe I will in the future. I haven't had too much interest for people that. They just kind of want the information in the past because they did this last year. But if you're interested, this is something certainly I'll, I'll, I'll consider sending to you and, and you can use it as well because it's just notes. I just review financial statements with an accounting background and also anticipate what these companies are going to be doing and look at their financials and just make good decisions. So you can see like almost all these companies are above, their current price is above my max purchase price that I said you shouldn't buy it. Don't buy it uh, above this price. And that's because these stocks have all been going up, like all been going up. LSI Industries was down at like $4.50 last year. They make screens. They make screens for like gas stations and stuff like that. Guess what everybody needs now with COVID? They want to use a screen instead of talking to a person. So they have unlimited business because they're just putting in screens everywhere. Um, So they doubled in value in the past year, and it was obvious that that was going to happen. Um, Microsoft, look at them blowing up. Unbelievable. Already up to 260. They were hanging around 200 for most of the last eight months. They're just like Google. They go up. I actually have to raise this, but I'm not going to raise it too much because they will drop down to the 230s again at some point. But yeah, lot, lots to talk about. Know, what, what other questions you got? Anything? You're tired? I mean, this is a long night. We're going to have to do some options trading in the morning, but... But yeah, no, th- this, uh, there's nothing but money to be made here. It, you're in an un- unprecedented time in a sense that usually the Federal Reserve and the powers that be that, that control the money supply don't just dump unlimited sums of money into the market for people to use to buy securities. But that is what happened under the Trump administration in the last year. And it's being continued under the Biden istri- administration because everybody got used to it. So everybody wants to make billions of dollars in the stock market. And if we don't, we as in the normal people that are not billionaires, do not step in and grab a bite of this, we miss out on all the free inflation money because that's where it is, is it's all in the market. And it's going to stay in the market because it's so much money that has nowhere else to go. It can only go into really real estate is the only other thing that you can put that sum of money into. And it's still, they want to make more and there's no place to make it other than in the market. So if you believe in people being greedy and people being smart, you should believe in the market going up because that's what everybody wants it to do. And the resources are there to do so. So it's obvious, which is why I'm not worried about this Tesla option. Because it is going to blow up out of the water and we will be able to sell this thing probably for over $500, probably in the reasonably near future. And that's what I'm going to do. And then we're going to reinvest it and talk about how to, to make more money daily by trading multiple options. Okay. So that's the plan.
And tomorrow we'll talk about Moderna. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Good luck, everybody. And may all your trades be winning.